Today, I'm going to show you how to beat face and take games with Mono Green Stompy. If you want to learn how to play magic that doesn't break the bank, start now by subscribing. Mono Green Stompy has been a deck archetype since the beginning of Magic's history. In the 1997 World Championship, the Danish player Sven Geertsen piloted one of the earliest versions of Stompy. The deck featured a multitude of efficient creatures like Rogue Elephant, along with cards like Giant's Growth to beef them up. With the deck, Sven was able to finish at a solid third place. However, in 1998, Urza's Legacy introduced a card that would define the deck for the next 20 years. That card was Rancor, an enchantment that buffs a creature's power adds trample, returns to the hand at all for one mana, you might wonder if it was a mistake. Well, the story goes that it was a mistake. When asked about it in a 2002 interview, Bill Rose, head of research and development at Wizards, said that no one really knows what happened. Originally, Rancor was two in a green and didn't have the ability to return to your hand. To make the card more tournament viable though, the cost was lowered to just a green. Then they added the recursion ability, but in the end, the developers argued about what the cost of Rancor should be. The group that wanted it to cost green think that they won and it was printed correctly. And the group wanting it to cost two in a green think that they won, but that the lead developer forgot to change the file sent to typesetting. Regardless of what happened, the card is now an entrenched piece of magic history. <sighs> Enough history, let's get into the deck. Your goal with this deck is to play quick and swing fast. You'll run only 16 forests and expect to win with the cards you start with and just a few off the top. So drop a forest and play Nettle Sentinel. Paying one mana for a 2-2 is exactly what you want and Nettle Sentinel's downside will quickly turn into something that you can abuse. Turn two is where your deck has the potential to explode. Multiple copies of Burning Tree Emissary can chain into one another and finish with a creature like Nest Invader or Vault Scourge. Or just drop two Rancors on your Nettle Sentinel and start swinging for six damage. After hitting with Nettle Sentinel, you can drop Skargan Pit Skulks as one mana two twos in your second main phase, then sneak in some free damage with a Mutagenic Growth or protect your creature from a Lightning Bolt. The win can be as simple as that, but to close out the rest of the games, you're gonna need some added utility. To get tricky, you can combine Hunger of the Howl Pack with Rancor at instant speed to make a monstrous beater that'll screw over your opponents. Combo this with the Eldrazi Spawn Sack Trigger from Nest Invader to trigger Morbid. Win any races with Vault Scourge's Flying and Lifelink, and use it along with Wild Mongrel and Eldrazi Spawn Tokens to cut through color hosing cards like Prismatic Strands and Circle of Protection Green. Your River Boas will make anyone playing Snow Islands groan in despair. Plus, a powerful regenerate ability protects Rancor from being dumped to the graveyard forever if River Boa is removed in response to you casting Rancor onto it. Query and Ranger can generate extra mana per turn by replaying a land and help you untap Nettle Sentinel. If your opponent drops a Standard Bearer or a Mole Drifter to slow you down, remove it and pump your boy at the same time with Savage Swipe one of the most efficient removal options in green. By now, it's turn five, and your army of really mad dudes is about to swing in for lethal. But your opponent eventually finds his scred and targets your biggest creature. Boom! We don't care. Vines of Vastwood protects against your opponent's spells. And you know what? We got an extra green, so take four more damage. Woo! I'm so pumped right now. Four copies of Gleeful Sabotage are going to help ensure a quick and decisive victory against any deck relying on artifacts or enchantments. The combination of Nettle Sentinels and Kurian Rangers means that Conspire cost is pretty much free. Expect to completely hose decks with this card. Two copies of Gutshot make sure that any Well-Wishers or Essence Wardens get smushed. Three copies of Relic of Progenitus to help deal with any graveyard decks and Mnemonic Wall or Archaeomancer loops. Or if you'd like to save a few dollars, Fairy Macabs will work great too and have the added benefit of being free and unexpected, but they don't replace themselves like Relic does. Two copies of Scattershot Archer will wreck Fairy decks and untapping them with Kurian Rangers can even remove Moldrifters, Glenhawks, and Delvers. Two copies of Weather the Storm work great as anti burn cards, and for those grindier matchups against decks with lots of fog effects, you might have to bring out two copies of Meridian Longbow. Plant one on a Nettle Sentinel with a Quirion Ranger on the field, and every green spell and land you bounce is one damage to the face. You'll find the deck list in the description, and if you use that affiliate link to buy any cards, you'll be supporting the channel at no extra cost. See ya!